Okay, so we are down to Miss Wonder, who's going to be Storm. Taylor, who has no future family yet. And Mr. Batman, who should have his deposit coming in tomorrow. All left. Now these guys are getting big. They're getting bored, and it's going to be 36 degrees outside tomorrow, which is basically oh, 97, I think, Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit. I'm Canadian, living in the U.S., so I still can't quite get the Fahrenheit in my head. But that's where we're at. And so I know these guys are going to be bored out of their minds tomorrow because it's going to be way too hot to be outside. So, we went to Pet Supermarket to load up on food and get some activities um, that they can do indoors. So, yeah, a lot more expensive than I wanted to, but, you know, this is what we basically use as our treats for the dogs. Um, Oregon meat is some of the best meat that you can give to your dogs, and this is 100% pure beef liver. Um, you know, so they love it. We give it to them often as a treat for going in their crate um, or for training. Um, these were 20% off, and these are, uh, excuse me, I know you're very excited, but you need to back up. Hey! Back up and wait. Uh-oh. Down. Good. Wait. So these are... Oh, down, stay, stay. So these are um, Icelandic lamb horns, um, large size, and uh, they honestly don't smell. I don't, uh oh, on your bed, on your bed. You can't even fit under there, oh, I didn't know that. On your bed. Place. Good boy. Wait. I was going to say, I thought I saw you on there. So these, you know, actually are pretty odorless compared to the water buffalo horns that everyone complains stinks. Um, so these were $13, but they're 20% off this week at Pet Supermarket. So I picked up... Um, Five because I have three pups and my adults and Logan can get very bored with this extreme heat wave as you can see he's chewed up bags you know rubber whatever but you know at this point we're not gonna risk him in the heat and unfortunately we had a issue with our closet leaking so we have stuff out that normally would be put away so you know, we're not too upset with him because he's obviously being set up to fail. Um, but just want to let you guys know what people have said in some of my older video comments is true. A board corso that destroys things is your fault, not your corsos. And so, you know, anyone that expects you to be perfect with your dogs, let's get real. People have a life. So, yeah, we're going to do the best for our dogs as often as we can, but just sometimes... They're not going to have the most exciting day, and that's fine. But, you know, in preparation for probably the record we're going to set all week, and especially tomorrow, we got these guys. Then for the pups, I saw this thing called Kong Dur Treat, where you can literally stick kibble in each of the holes or some treats. So we will be doing our feedings indoors tomorrow for the first time using these. So you'll see those in an upcoming video, you know, so let us waste our money before you waste yours on trying out these things. And then these, I don't think I've seen before. Um, I just wanted to try them out. I don't think I'm going to recommend them because they have pea protein in them. Um, like weed, glycerin, potato starch pea protein, natural flavor, then bison, you know, oats, molasses. 
So it's not horrible ingredients, but I wouldn't really say they're that good either. Haha, <laughs> natural healthy edibles. However, you know, um, yeah, pea protein is actually up for debate on causing heart issues, but it is in the food we feed our dogs, so they're used to it. Um, but we're keeping an eye on if pea protein actually impacts any corsos because then we will stop feeding our dogs that right away. But we'll be testing these out, um, you know, because sometimes you just need to try something different, but I would not ever serve this on the regular. And then uh, smoked chicken feet. Look at that. Oh. Um, those probably won't last long, so those are more of a high-reward treat. And so that's uh, what our pet supermarket haul was. Way more than we wanted to spend, but definitely um, want to make sure that these guys are good um, for the heat tomorrow. So I think... Um, overnight we will try these uh, lamp horns. So we'll give them to them tonight and we'll see um, how they do in the morning. And uh, so we'll be right back and you guys will see in a few seconds how well they lasted. Excuse me, place. Uh oh. Uh-oh, on your bed. Uh-oh, on your bed, on your bed. Uh-oh, on your bed. I did not release you. Nope, on your bed. And the trick with corsos is they'll try and test your patience. Uh-oh. Place on your bed. Good boy. Good boy. Good listening. Okay, stay. Okay. So I'm going to give one to hers first because she's pretty uh, intense here. Okay, so we've given all the puppies their bones, and they're uh, loving it. So this seems to be quite the hit. Good boy. Okay. Phoenix, come. Phoenix. And Phoenix, you already know the drill. Down, good girl. And like this is, despite the destruction mess from being bored, this is what I like to see. Every single dog has their nice treat and they're enjoying life. Look at that. So, lamb horns <laughs> for puppies, excellent. For adult corsos, I don't know if they'll be left by the morning. Did you destroy it? Huh? Okay. All right, so day two, all of the uh, Lamhorn survived. Logan's obviously got the smallest because he has the strongest bones. But um, yeah, overall I'd say a win. And uh, definitely worth 10 bucks.